All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 77. All right. So what if the player doesn't have enough gold to buy health? When we want, pardon me, when we want to run code conditionally, we can use the if statement. So we're going to put all the code in our buy health function inside an if statement. For example, uh, we'll have function, my function, and then it'll say uh, if uh, the condition in the, uh, this is horrible. Honestly, this is horrible. Uh, but I'm sure they'll teach us what it, this exactly means on the next one. But basically what this is saying, if this condition inside of here is true, we'll run the code. And if it's not true, it won't do anything. So I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Um, also, as you can see, this is getting a little confusing and, and they're not really explaining much. Uh, let's come over here to uh, free code camp main page. Uh, this one down here, legacy JavaScript algorithms and data structures. This has a much more textbook feel to it, especially the basic JavaScript where's the conditionals. Well, I didn't look for it in rehearsal, but it's somewhere in there. Uh, this is definitely much more uh, textbook style. So if you're if you're really getting hung up over here, uh, I definitely suggest checking this one out. I've got all the videos for this one, too, if you need help with these ones. But uh, regardless, get, let's get back to it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, we're, we're just making the if statement. So inside here, we're going to say if. And then for the condition, hold on. And then for the condition, we're just going to do condition, condition. And then we're going to have these curly braces like this. And then we're going to select all this stuff right here uh, from all of 79 to all of 76. And we're going to just drop it off right here inside of 73 like that. Let's clear up this uh, white space. And the actual answer to this is because we want this, we, it has to be above 10, right? So the actual answer would be if gold, if the value for gold is greater than or equal to 10, all right? What we're gonna do is run this, all right? And so let's come over here and check this out. Like if we didn't have this, let's, uh, let's take this out to start with. Actually, no, let's do control V's, control Z's to get it back to what it was. Uh, without that in there, what it will do is when we put go to store and buy the health, <laughs> we're just racking up national debt over here, you know? Uh, but when we do controls, when we get, uh, come back to how we were like this, and we go to go to store and buy health and just keep clicking. Once it gets down to zero, it's not going to do it anymore because it's gotta be, it's, we gotta have at least 10 gold to buy the health, right? And so that's how this uh, if statement's gonna work. But let's go back to condition so that we can just quit this, uh, we can just go to the next one. So let's uh, check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 78, and we'll see you next time.